School age girl in Galveston, Indiana, messaged the Anthony Schantz account that she wanted to hook up after school. She said her parents wouldn't be home and shared her address. A day later, when she got off the bus, she saw a man in a ski mask peering into her bedroom window. It doesn't look to me like there's proof for sure uh, that he was the person peeping through the windows. Police can't prove it was Keegan Klein peeping into that window and he denied doing it according to the transcripts. However, investigative data shows Klein searched members of that girl's family on Facebook the day before the peeping incident. All of this happened just three days. Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered in Delphi. When you're doing the investigation, again, you want the whole picture. You're finding the pieces of the puzzle that you fill in and it slowly uh, comes together into something that you can recognize. Former FBI agent Doug Coons has not worked on this case but has investigated many others. He says the transcripts have provided a lot of interesting but circumstantial information. While Keegan Klein and his father Tony Klein have been at the center of the Delphi investigation, Coons says the information found in these transcripts proves nothing. All the stuff is great, but you still need that key piece that you take it to court and then all that will matter. Investigators eventually raided the Klein home in Peru nearly two weeks after the Delphi murders. That resulted in numerous child porn charges against Keegan Klein. Still, despite what transcripts show Keegan told a reporter, officials don't know if Tony Klein had access to that Anthony Schatz account. It seems to me like there's a lot of pieces around the periphery, but they're still looking for that one that goes in the middle. Now, as far as we can tell, the child porn charges Keegan Klein is facing are his first uh, run in with the law. His father, Tony, however, was charged with battery in 2005 and felony theft in the late 90s. It is important for us to point out that neither Keegan nor his father, Tony, have been charged in the Delphi murder investigation. In the studio, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59.